I was diagnosed in 2010 um, after complication with my eyesight. Um, that was the only reason I went to the optometrist um, who then um, told me to go get my blood pressure checked, which I did. The next thing you know, I was in the hospital and that's when I was diagnosed with um, renal failure stage five. We met at a Valentine's Day party. Um, it was actually February 12th, 2010. We hit it off very well. And as we matured into a couple, I share with her um, the medical issue that I've had. We need to fix it. I mean, it was really that simple that um, how could you not and let's go. I mean, it was, we just had to move into action. Once we started the um, donation part of the medical procedure, everything matched and it just worked out extremely well. In this case, they happened to be a good immunological match. They happened to be a good pair as a husband and wife. He's kind of fortunate in the sense that he does have a living donor. Most people on the waiting list don't have a living donor. They already started dialysis. In Central Florida, we have about 500 people waiting for a kidney transplant. And usually the average waiting time is about three or four years. I start Melissa's operation. Um, and once I'm sufficiently into the operation, Dr. Angelus will take James back into the operating room and do his operation and start his operation. My concern is definitely that something may go wrong on her part because as a healthy person going into a surgery for nothing at all but to um, promote life for me, um, that's just unselfish. I tell him that it's not a sacrifice on my part, it is an investment. I mean, this is our life, it's not his, it's not mine, it's ours. The bond would definitely be stronger for many reasons. One we'll go through some of the recovery together, but ultimately in the end, I'm gonna have a part of her and me. She's my hero. That is, that is something that a lot of people may think they would do, but when the time comes, I don't know how many people would.